officially second day of the reading rush and it is currently 10 a.m. But do not fret, I've been awake since 6.45 a.m. Yes, um, I went to sleep like at 2 a.m. because I was uploading my video, I was making the thumbnail and I, I just I guess I was just so excited that my brain didn't want to shut down so I'm running on like four hours of sleep I don't know how that's going to turn out I don't know if I'm going to like lose all my energy halfway through this vlog but so far I'm still in high spirits I'm still really really excited and I just finished my second book of the reading rush which is all boys aren't blue. Since I woke up so early in the morning, I was like, I mean, I guess I'll just read. <laughs> so I ended up finishing this book and I think I'm going to be giving it four out of five stars. This is basically a collection of essays of George M. Johnson and him talking us through his life experiences and how it was for him to grow up being a black queer boy and having to deal with his identity in a community that doesn't really accept such differences. At the beginning he does say that this book will touch on sexual assault including molestation, loss of virginity, homophobia, racism, and anti-blackness. So of course with these topics in mind this isn't the most lighthearted of books but I do think that it's such an important read. I really love how this book teaches young black boys and gender non-conforming individuals to exist and to survive and to live in a world that is trying so damn hard to erase them. I love how powerful this memoir is and I love just how important it is to to read it and to immerse yourself in the realities that people are living today. I would definitely recommend it even if you're not an LGBTQIA plus person, if you just want to be an ally and learn about these things and how you can be even more supportive and even more of an ally this book is just perfect for it i mean this could be read by anyone and they could find something of value to them so i just really enjoyed reading this i really love that i decided to pick this up for the reading rush if you're participating in the reading rush how are you guys doing i hope you're still going strong if you still haven't finished any books it doesn't matter you got this we still got five more days to go yeah, when you're seeing this, five more days to go. So I will see you very shortly. <laughs> spirits are still high hope we are all thriving hope we are all getting through our tbrs now that i'm officially off work i can finally start reading and i have some very ambitious plans um 
I'm not gonna lie, I have been reading here and there, like in between breaks and stuff like that, an ember in the ashes, hi, um, iconic, got tier, legendary, need I say more, this morning I think I was on page 150 or something, and I am currently on page 330. <laughs> So this has 447 pages. This is my plan. Okay, hear me up. Hear me out, not hear me up. My plan for today, for the second day of the reading rush. <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood, I'm sorry. Okay, plans. I'm going to finish, finally, An Ember in the Ashes. I am going to finish this today, probably at the cost of the majority of my brain cells, but I am ready. I'm ready to let them go. I'm ready to fully, completely lose my mind over this series. I really, really don't want to say anything to spoil this for you guys. I know a lot of you have already read An Ember in the Ashes, but if you haven't, if this is your first time seeing this beauty, then I really, really hope that my videos and the way that I talk about this book inspires you to pick it up because it's such a rich and creative and fun and adventurous type of fantasy novel and the characters keep everything interesting and so far where the story is headed and where it's been going it just it keeps my blood pumping it keeps my adrenaline going i don't know what's going on well i do know what's going on but i don't know what's going to happen and that makes me so nervous but at the same time so excited to keep on reading kind of hard to put this down like i had to physically stop myself from reading so that i could vlog this clip after i finish this because yes i am going to be finishing this today i am <laughs> I don't know why I do this, you know what I mean? Like, I already have seven books that I need to read, but I was like, I'm not, I'm not feeling the pressure. Why don't I add an eighth book to my TBR? So um, I have this new friend, oh my God, I haven't told you about her. She is an angel, she is a sweetheart, she is adorable, she is read by Tiffany. I saw one of her reading vlogs, I think last week, and I just, I felt so happy watching her videos that I decided to text her and I was like, hey. <laughs> Like, I pretended I wasn't the shyest person on earth and I just texted her and I was like, you look like you are such an amazing person and I just really wanted to tell you that. I love you, keep going, you're so nice. And lo and behold, we found out that we actually have a lot of similar tastes in books, especially when it comes to Bloodlines, to Vampires, to Vampire Academy, which is a highly underrated vampire series, especially Bloodlines, oh my god. So we were just talking about how much we love Bloodlines and how much how underrated it is, and we were just like, we should buddy read this. <laughs> She's also reading this for the Nostalgiathon, which is a readathon that she is hosting along with other creators. I'm going to be leaving the information below because I feel like it's such a cute and cozy readathon, so that would be really fun to participate in. So, yeah, this is another book that I am going to be starting today. And this also matches my birthstone, so I guess it's going to be like an extra book for the readathon that technically completes the same challenge as An Ember in the Ashes, but I'm not mad. But it doesn't stop there. Y'all thought, mm -mm. if, um, of course I'm not going to be finishing this today. I just want to read for fun and to feel all the cozy vibes and kind of transport myself to my 13 or 14 year old self. Um, so when I want a break from Bloodlines, I really want to start Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Literally, I cannot wait to read this. This just looks so insane and so wild. Of course, you're going to be getting like a thousand clips of just my favorite parts of this manga. So those are my reading plans for today. <laughs> All of the updates that I want to give you guys and now I'm just going to read to my heart's content or until I pass out and <laughs> I've been replying to all the comments that you guys have been leaving in my first reading rush vlog and I just I say it all the time I love you guys so much your comments make everything worth it it makes all of my sleepless nights worth it and I just really appreciate you guys so thank you so much for watching even if you're supposed to be reading right now thank you for giving me a little bit of your time and I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get reading because I have a lot of reading plans today um 
because I'm feeling adventurous apparently. So okay, I am gonna go now. Say hi. I mean, say bye. Bye. children I am in danger you know why because it's 8 30 and my sleep deprivation is catching up um, it feels like it's 2 a.m. right now for me but I'm not giving up I am I've been reading an ember in the ashes um, what <laughs> head empty no thoughts I've been reading an ember in the ashes for a while now and I'm almost nearly done. It's gotten really intense, like, oh, like I did not know it was going to go there, but I love where it's going. Like when it's, when the things started happening, when it started to go down, I started screaming because I did not see this coming. But at the same time, like, oh my god like holy crap on a cracker um this is insane this is incredible this is exactly what i need right now so far it's a five out of five freaking well-deserved stars and or maybe 4.5 who are we kidding it's a five out of five stars okay i'm gonna go back to reading now i've talked way too much toodles one hour later so i finished an ember in the ashes wow that was so powerful <laughs> Academy Award. <laughs> five out of five stars. That's all I'm gonna say, folks. Um, I'm, I'm five out of five stars. Punto. <laughs> please, please read an ember in the ashes. I'm gonna go and scream into eternity now. Keep going.